Okay, I'm here with the art team. And okay. could you do me a favour? Could you tell me something about this guy here? Well, that's um, Bruce Pierre Marini. And um, what he does is he sticks on pieces of foam and then um, he puts them on the ground and he pours paint onto them. And then um, that's how it gets kind of the off the painting look. He uses a lot of glitter in his paintings as well. And the spotlights kind of bring out the glitter. And how come he. What kind of colours is he using like these? It's all bright colours. Why doesn't he use dull colours? Grey, for instance. Well, he does use black and white as well in a couple of his paintings, but mainly bright colours. White, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe he's happy? Yeah. He likes so. bright. Uh huh. He likes bright colours. Yes. What? Do you like it? Yes. Yeah. It's one of my favourites. Is it? Mm hmm. What about this fella? This is black and white hair. Yeah, that's one of Bruce's <coughs> black and white pictures. It's like a face. A lot of people say it's a face with oh, two right. eyes, nose and mouth. Looks like kind of a clown or something, is it? Yeah. Yes. Is it called clown? I'm not too sure what it's called, actually. Is I don't it? think it has a name. Is this the same guy? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. all of these along here now are people's pure marine. He uses a lot of glitter in this one. Nicely bright colours in that picture. Yeah. And he'd use newspaper as well to keep the shapes up. Well, he'd yeah. stick on the shapes mainly. He'd actually put them underneath the canvas, and then um, and then, then he just pour the paint, 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 paint over it. All right. And the paint actually does more, um, some of the work itself. Yeah, because he just kind of leaves it, take its own shape and form. Really, most of the paintings here do actually. They kind of leave them do that most of it. And he doesn't mm. use brushes either. Yes. Ever? Well, sometimes, but maybe never. What about this, this Bruce again, is it? Yeah, it's, it's, he's using like dark colours and bright colours. Yeah. It's a mixture. Did he always paint like this, or did he? can he actually draw, for instance? Um, well, yeah. I think he started out um, actually painting with paintbrushes and then it um, went down to more abstract work, I guess. And then it turned out like this. This is bright one of his gracious works. Yeah. It's yeah. another really nice painting. Yeah, that's yeah, my favourite actually. Is it? Yes. I love the paints in that one. Mm. And if you saw a painting like this in a book last year, what would you think? Like, have you, have you changed your mind about things or did you? I think so, yeah. I was pretty. When I looked at these paintings first, I thought how weird and Strange they were, but I now I find they're they're just yeah. Because when I started off like last year, I used to love still life paintings most, and I used to really think anything of abstract. But now I love abstract. I think it's brilliant. And why do you think people uh, draw pictures? Like some people draw pictures of people and landscapes, and some people like go totally abstract. Do, do you know why people might do that or? Maybe they have mixed feelings, or maybe they just want to be different. Or did you ever think about music? How paintings could be like music? Because you know when you hear that music there? Yeah. Does that sound like a person walking or does it sound like um, a train? So you don't really expect music to sound like a thing or a person. No. But that music's abstract as well. Yeah, it so sounds, I find it sounds a lot like it really matches the actual the Lucy Baker's um, Night Sky, which oh, is up yeah. there now. So. But um, that's one way of thinking about abstract painting is music, yeah. because um, music is abstract as well, because yeah. you don't you don't need words or you don't need to be told you either like it or you don't or it makes you feel good or bad or yeah. happy or sad or whatever. This huge painting. This is Graham Peacock. He works on big canvases and um, he uses a lot of queer shapes as well. As yeah. his main favorite. Is it? Yeah. Little, um, beads are there, they're glass beads. Wait, how come he is it so big, do you think? Well, he likes it. <laughs> Maybe it's just his way of expressing himself. Maybe he's a big he man. He likes handling things and the pictures around. Yeah. But uh, why doesn't he do like tiny little drawings, do you think? Like, did you ever think, see how high that is? Mm -hmm. Don't you think it would need to be a tall person to do it? He places his, his canvases on the 
Yeah. Where he Does he? cuts the shape first and decides which way it should go. Yeah. And then he starts painting. All right, so he does everything on the ground first. Yes. Cool. What about these are? Irene. Yeah. Irene. She specializes in acrylic paints and gels. So you can see here, it's kind of more shiny than the outside. Yeah. Because she kind of sticks them onto the actual painting. And then she lets it kind of go whatever way it wants. Like, um, this one is done on paper. Mm. And she, she as well sometimes uses um, paintbrush strokes as well. She's like a traitor because she uses a brush. <laughs> no, that's good. And, if, and you can see that some of it is kind of thicker. Yeah, that's the actual gel, the acrylic gel. Yeah. And do you, uh, do you ever, have you ever used uh, paint like that yourselves? Or? I've used acrylic paint but not acrylic gel. Yeah, because the gel makes everything puff up. Well, actually the acrylic paint itself is <coughs> thick. But Gel is very thick. Yeah, it can, it can even make it even thicker. And she actually lets it flow into itself. Yeah. As you can see, there, there's little marks yeah. up here as well. There's glitter in this part. Yeah. Yeah. She likes glitter as well. She uses a lot of glitter, especially in her um, jewellery, environmental jewellery range. She makes jewellery as well? Yeah. All right, yeah. Well, that would explain the glitter. So. <laughs> mainly, um, her jewellery is mainly made on um, plastic lids and um, right. anything that's thrown around. Yeah, she kind of recycling. Yeah. Very good. And they're very nice. Will we try the tunnel, even though it's yeah. very dark? <laughs> yeah. 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 Y
suppose this really helped me to get the more interested in art galleries in general yeah. and art in general, really. Mm. Would you have gone to an art gallery yourselves before? Yes. yes. Would you? Yes. yes. Oh. We took a trip to um, the Crawford Art Gallery and the Glucksman Gallery as well. But before, is that as part of this, is it? To see how galleries yes. work? Yeah. But well, the Crawford um, was with the schools, but oh, yeah. um, the um, looks that we went with the, the group of us and um, I to look at galleries the, myself as well, though, just, you know, as yeah. well as hobbies. Yeah. 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 And do you draw and paint yourselves? Or? Yeah. Yes. Would you would do that anyway? Yes. yes. And would you do anything different now because of what's... Yeah. Going on here, or so more abstract paintings. Yeah, yeah, and just colourful. Yeah, it's great to yeah. to well, get interested in new things that you might not have normally yeah. even thought about trying. Cork is Europe's capital of culture and is hosting all sorts of artistic events. Five pupils at St. Patrick's National School in the city took on the challenge of organising an international art exhibition in their school hall, which got rave reviews. What colours are in the painting? He's using bright colours. Orange. Yes, very good. Yes, and he's using... Mounting an international art exhibition and explaining the finer points are now child's play for Mary Clinch and her four school friends at St. Patrick's National School on Gardner's Hill in Cork. Over the past two weeks, hundreds of people have visited the school holla to view the works by seven international artists, which were chosen by the five girls who designed the gallery, arranged the opening, and are on hand to answer any questions. Is he from Canada? 
I'm from Canada originally. Well, it's made up of international artists, and the artists themselves, they do all abstract pieces. There's about seven artists all together in the exhibition, and all of them are very well-known, famous artists. What we did first was we went to see an exhibition for ourselves to get to know, you know, to get the feels for it. And, um, that's really where we started. It was very exciting, um, actually. We were at, at this now since October um, 2004, and we've been writing to the artists and um, contacting people as well. Um, the hardest part, I find, was contacting um, the media and everyone else, really, um, inviting them. I find that was the hardest part, ringing people. <laughs> I wrote to Lucy Baker, she's an international artist and she's also a leaning painter. And all our artworks on the top are um, really dark colours and some of them are light colours. And we, we put, I think, a little a small lights inside those paintings to really look nicer. So what do you think you've learned from it? That all artists have all different works and no work is the same. I think children should have as much art as they can to explore their mind. It's called the Three Wishes, and a lot of people make a wish when they're passing by it. Well, I wish that this art gallery would stay here for long, long, because I'll miss it when it'll be over.
good. Uh, I'm just going to play you some music and you have to think of a story that would match the music. This is the gorilla. My mum has a couple of clocks and they always wake me up at one o'clock in the morning. My mum's not even up. Sometimes when I wake up, when it's morning, um, I like to sing um, Christmas carols. Thank you. 